Welcome to Singularity Vault. Our channel is your one-stop destination for all things science and technology. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for regular updates. Ever pondered what the future holds for human space exploration? Could our future generations call the moon their home? As we stand on the cusp of a new era, the notion of lunar colonization isn't just a dream, but a tangible goal. The evolution of human space exploration has led us to the doorstep of our nearest celestial neighbor, the moon. It's no longer about planting a flag or leaving a footprint. It's about building a home, a base, a stepping stone into the vast cosmos. This shift in objective represents a leap in our ambition and a testament to human ingenuity. Building a lunar base isn't merely about survival in the harsh lunar environment. It's about creating a self-sustaining ecosystem, a testament to our resilience and adaptability and a beacon of hope for future generations. Today, we journey through the fascinating prospects of building a lunar base, from current projects to future possibilities. The dream of a lunar base is not just a fantasy, with numerous ongoing projects striving to make it a reality. Let's start with Artemis, NASA's ambitious initiative aimed at landing the first woman and the next man on the moon by the mid-2020. This isn't just about setting foot on the moon again, it's about establishing a sustainable human presence there. Interestingly, Artemis isn't a solo endeavor. It's a testament to international collaboration, with space agencies from Canada, Europe and Japan contributing their expertise and resources. This collaborative effort reflects the global significance of lunar colonization and how it transcends borders and national interests. It's not just about governments, though. Private companies are also playing a crucial role. Look at SpaceX, for instance. They're developing the Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft that could revolutionize space travel and make lunar missions more economically viable. Then there's Blue Origin, which is working on its own lunar lander, the Blue Moon. The company's founder, Jeff Bezos, envisions millions of people living and working in space, and a lunar base could be a significant step towards this grand vision. These initiatives aren't just about reaching the moon, they're about creating a launch pad for deeper space exploration. The moon could serve as a staging post for missions to Mars and beyond. In essence, these projects are not just about making history, they're about shaping the future. They represent the pioneering spirit of humanity, our insatiable curiosity, and our relentless drive to push the boundaries of what's possible. In the words of Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a father of astronautics, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot live in a cradle forever. These lunar colonization efforts are our first steps out of the cradle, steps towards a future where humans are not just inhabitants of Earth, but citizens of the cosmos. Let's not forget, though, that these are not easy endeavors. They involve immense challenges and risks. But as the saying goes, nothing worth doing is ever easy. These projects are paving the way for the next giant leap in human space exploration. But why the moon? What makes a lunar base so crucial to our future in space? Well, the first thing to understand is the moon's significance in scientific research. The moon is essentially a time capsule that preserves a history of the solar system that Earth can't. Its surface is littered with billions of years worth of meteorite impacts, and these can tell us a great deal about the early solar system. A lunar base would provide a platform for extensive scientific research, opening up opportunities for breakthrough discoveries about our universe that could revolutionize our understanding of life, the universe, and everything in between. The moon is also a treasure trove of resources. It's rich in helium-3, a potential clean energy source that could power Earth for centuries. It's also got an abundance of water ice, particularly near the poles, which can be utilized for life support and fuel. Establishing a lunar base would allow us to tap into these resources, creating a new era of space resource utilization and potentially solving some of Earth's pressing energy problems. But perhaps the most exciting reason for a lunar base is its potential as a launch pad for deeper space missions. The moon's gravity is a mere one-sixth of Earth's, making it easier and more economical to launch spacecraft from its surface. A lunar base could provide the infrastructure for building and launching interplanetary missions, acting as a stepping stone for human exploration of Mars and beyond. It would be a gateway to the cosmos, opening up the final frontier in ways we've only dreamed of, so, to sum it all up, a lunar base is quite the game changer. It's not just about the moon, it's about the opportunities it presents for scientific discovery, 
resource utilization, and space exploration. It's about pushing the boundaries of human potential and stepping into a future where our species doesn't just call one planet home, but the entire solar system. A lunar base serves as a catalyst for scientific, technological, and exploratory advancements. Beyond exploration, a lunar base holds promise for societal and economic prosperity. The creation of a lunar base isn't just a giant leap for mankind. It's a giant leap for job markets around the world, from rocket scientists to lunar geologists, from astrophysicists to astrobiologists. The demand for space-related careers would skyrocket. But it won't stop at traditional space roles. We're talking about architects to design lunar habitats, engineers to maintain life support systems, and even chefs to prepare space-friendly meals. The ripple effect would permeate through various sectors, creating a multitude of opportunities back here on Earth. Beyond job creation, a lunar base could be the catalyst for remarkable technological innovation. When we push the boundaries of human capabilities, we push the boundaries of technology too. The Apollo missions, for instance, led to the development of things we now take for granted, like scratch-resistant lenses and cordless vacuum cleaners. Who knows what a lunar base might inspire? Maybe advanced robotics, breakthroughs in renewable energy, or even new methods of food production. The possibilities are as vast as the cosmos itself. Now let's talk about the potential for international collaboration. The moon doesn't belong to any single nation. It's a shared resource, a common ground beyond our planet. A lunar base could facilitate a new era of international cooperation, a united front in the name of scientific advancement and space exploration. We've seen glimpses of this in the International Space Station, but a lunar base could take it to a whole new level. And then there's the expansion of human civilization. Establishing a lunar base is a stepping stone, a waypoint in our journey to becoming an interplanetary species. It's about securing the future of humanity, ensuring our survival beyond the confines of Earth. The moon, once a distant dream, could soon be a beacon of international cooperation and economic prosperity. It's time to look beyond our skies, to the moon and beyond, for the next chapter of human progress. To thrive on the moon, we must conquer the challenge of self-sustainability. We're not just talking about setting up a couple of tents and calling it a day. Lunar living requires a whole new level of ingenuity. Let's start with habitat construction. Building a home on the moon isn't as simple as it is on Earth. We need to consider factors like extreme temperatures, radiation, and lunar dust. And forget about popping down to the local hardware store for supplies. Everything we need must either be transported from Earth or sourced from the Moon itself, a process called in situ resource utilization. Now, about water and oxygen. These aren't just nice to haves, they're essential for life. We can't survive without them. While transporting water from Earth is an option, it's not practical in the long run. Instead, we're looking at ways to extract water from lunar ice or produce it through chemical reactions. And for oxygen, we're exploring technologies that can extract it from lunar soil or generate it through plants grown in lunar greenhouses. Speaking of plants, let's talk food. The moon isn't exactly known for its fertile soils and lush vegetation, but that doesn't mean we can't grow our own food. Scientists are experimenting with hydroponics and other forms of controlled environment agriculture to cultivate crops in lunar conditions. Waste management is another key factor. We can't just leave our trash behind. We need to develop systems that can recycle waste into useful resources, like nutrients for plant growth or materials for 3D printing. And finally, energy. The moon's days and nights last about 14 Earth days each, so we need reliable, long-lasting energy sources. Solar power is an obvious choice during lunar days, but we'll also need alternatives like nuclear power for the long lunar nights. Innovation and resourcefulness will be the keys to unlocking a self-sustaining lunar lifestyle. By tackling these challenges head-on, we're not just preparing to live on the moon, we're paving the way for humanity's future in space. While the journey is daunting, the future prospects of a self-sustaining lunar base are truly exhilarating. As we venture into this ambitious endeavor, we must acknowledge the challenges that lie ahead. Yet, it is these very challenges that are driving some of the most groundbreaking advancements in space technology and exploration. First up, 
let's talk about one of the biggest obstacles, the harsh lunar environment. With temperatures swinging from blistering heat to freezing cold, no atmosphere, and constant bombardment by solar radiation, the moon isn't exactly a hospitable place for humans. Yet, creative minds and innovative technologies are working to overcome this. We're talking about state-of-the-art habitats designed to withstand the lunar elements and radiation shielding materials that protect astronauts from the sun's harmful rays. But the challenges don't stop there. How about resources? Unlike our blue planet, the moon doesn't have a convenient supply of water or oxygen. This is where resource utilization technology comes into play. Scientists are developing techniques to extract water from lunar soil and convert it into oxygen and hydrogen, which could be used for breathing and rocket fuel, respectively. Talk about being resourceful, and what about food and energy? Well, we're looking at advanced hydroponics for food cultivation and nuclear power for energy generation. Picture this, astronauts tending to their own lunar gardens and a nuclear reactor humming quietly in the background, powering the entire base. It's like science fiction, but it's becoming reality. These challenges have also led to numerous breakthroughs. For example, the development of in-situ resource utilization or making use of what's available on the moon is a game changer. This technology could drastically reduce the amount of supplies needed to be transported from Earth, making lunar missions more feasible and cost-effective. At the end of the day, the challenges of establishing a lunar base are significant, but they are not insurmountable. With each hurdle, we're not just making progress, we're making history. We're pushing the boundaries of human capability, knowledge, and ambition. The moon, our closest neighbor, awaits us. It's our time to make it our second home. As we stand at the dawn of a new era in space exploration, the dream of a lunar base is closer than ever. We've spent the past several minutes discussing the projects, significance, and strategies for achieving self-sustainability in a lunar base. But let's take a moment to envision what the future might look like. Imagine a world where the moon is not just a celestial body in the night sky but a place where humans live, work, and thrive. A bustling lunar base humming with activity where scientists unravel the mysteries of the universe, engineers push the boundaries of innovation, and explorers set forth on missions to even further reaches of space. This lunar base, a beacon of human achievement, would not just be a scientific outpost, but a thriving, self-sustaining community. Picture habitats constructed from lunar resources, gardens flourishing under artificial sunlight, and water, oxygen, and energy generated on site. A place where the cycle of life continues hundreds of thousands of miles away from Earth. But this future is not without its challenges. We have to develop innovative solutions for habitat construction, resource utilization, life support systems, and energy generation. We have to overcome harsh lunar conditions and ensure the health and well-being of lunar inhabitants. But as we've seen time and time again, humans are exceptionally good at overcoming challenges. And so, as we look towards this future, we see not just a base, but a new frontier for human civilization. This lunar future promises societal and economic benefits, from job creation and technological innovation to international collaboration, and the expansion of human civilization beyond our home planet. The moon is no longer a distant dream, but a future reality. It's not a matter of if, but when. So, as we stand at the precipice of this new era, we look forward to the day when we can say, we did it. We built a home on the moon. Thank you for watching this Singularity Vault video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more regular science and technology updates.